Hi, just a quick video on Vegas yet again. We're back to Vegas 14. This is my brand spanking new installed Windows 10 machine with a new install of Vegas 14. Because uh, Vegas 15 doesn't bloody well work. It's got uh, issues. Anyway, um, Vegas 14 has usually been stable over the years. I've been using it for many years. Um, but it did crash occasionally and stuff like that. But on this new Windows 10 machine, it's been crashing like fairly frequently but today I was editing my new LCD video I'm not sure why today but it crashed like half a dozen times in less than an hour and it was just so frustrating I had to save every time I did like a single edit in the thing I had to save my work just because I knew it was going to crash again it was just became unusable for someone who does this is my living making YouTube videos it's just so frustrating and uh, so anyway um, I think I've got to the bottom of it. I haven't tested it for a week, but it seems that the problem's gone away. So let me show you uh, what the issue was. Let's go into preferences here. There's a two-prong solution. People on that you can research this, and people have found it and said, oh, these and do these things, and it makes it better, and it seems to have fixed it. So if you go into preferences and edit in here, oh, no, video, then GPU acceleration of video processing, by default, that is on the NVIDIA Corporation one. Just switch that off because I don't use that GPU uh, acceleration anyway because it's not Vegas 15. It doesn't help. It's actually slower to do this. So I turn that off and then apply. You've got to actually restart if you change that. So switch that off. And when you go in, before you go into preferences again, but hold down Control and Shift at the same time, and press preferences and you'll get another secret tab up here this is the internal one I think I may have shown this on a video uh, before when I was doing this uh, rendering to CPU GPU GPU or CPU rendering to get the number of cores um, to change the number of cores and there look this is all the power up like the startup options power up startup options there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of options in here it's probably in a text file you can edit somewhere I don't know but you can actually shorten them by go, just going typing in core here and what we've got is we've got disable multi-core rendering uh, we don't want to do that because we want to render with multiple cores by default that's false anyway that's fine this is the culprit enable multi-core rendering for playback so when you're playing back the video um, it tries to use all the different cores and there's a threading problem yes I do have hyper threading disabled in the BIOS of my machine, so I'm not haven't tried combinations of that. So I it was disabled anyway, the hyper threading, um, because it was slightly slower on the rendering, regardless of what people say. Uh, for my particular case, it was so innate. So that by default is true. So simply go in there and type in false for that, and save, shut down. Bob's your uncle. Um, I haven't had any. Uh, crashes or lockup issues yet and I tried I thought oh okay maybe this will fix the Vegas 15 thing as well um, which I had the chipmunk audio <laughs> um, yeah and no it hasn't fixed that still have that file compatibility problem but there were crashes and lockups in Vegas 15 too so I haven't tried it again but that might the same options are in there you might be able to uh, fix that as well. Let's actually go in there and try that. Control Shift Preferences in Vegas 15. We've got the internal, and we can type in core. And oh, there's there's less. There's less. Enable multi-core rendering for playback. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it's false. I've already said it's false. By default, it's true. So there you go. It didn't. Um, so that might fix Vegas 15 as well. Anyway, if you're having issues with Vegas at all, disable multi-core. Rend uh, playback it's not it's for playback it's not for rendering rendering will still be fine it'll be multi-core everything's hunky-dory but for playback I'm not editing a Hollywood movie I'm adding some text over like some image overlays and some text overlays and stuff like that like that's all I do like <laughs> that's that that's it so I don't need a zillion cores to actually play that back it plays back just fine on that single core or whatever it's uh, doing. So there's obviously some sort of uh, threading issue there, but this seems to have solved it. So there you go. That's it. If you've got Vegas problems, give that a bell.
Catch you next time.